Hello all, it is Happy Summer and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. So if you guys are unaware, this is really exciting. We are in Sims 4 Island Living. I am actually crying inside. It is so beautiful here. Like it is absolutely beautiful. Currently it is nighttime because our dear family is sleeping. About to be ready to be woken up in the whoa it's thunderstorming that is so awesome it is thunderstorming that is so exciting but uh yeah you guys cannot hear it thunderstorming um sadly i tried to fix it but yeah that that's okay you guys might have recognized these sims, which it's really cool if you did. It's okay if you didn't. Um, you don't need to know these sims in order to um, be familiar with the Let's Play or need to you know, have them to understand the Let's Play. So basically, hold on, I need to turn my sound down here. It is much better for me. So these sims, if you're familiar, actually um, all started with my legacy challenge i had probably two years ago on my channel and that was with misty and her husband khaled so this is khaled um together they had four children they had Belle, logan juliet or i'm sorry no they only have three children they had bell logan and caster so only two together caster was actually a um alien abduction child and together, they were very, very happy. They had a lovely little family. And then with that, they went on to have, their kids went on to have other children. So Logan married Juliet Wakefield, who together they had Kaysen, Kirsten, and Chad. So that's Kirsten, that's Kaysen, you can see them down there. But then Castor ended up having five children, including a stepson, but he had Priscilla and Dorothy. They are young adults. And then with his wife, Cassandra, those, okay, so those are actually kind of a long story. Um, basically, he had, he was like really into like experimenting with things and like alien stuff. And he, yeah, he accidentally had these three kids with them um or wait maybe it was just the two i think then he had marilyn lola and brennan with his wife cassandra who was aka cassandra goth and then we had bell bell just had one child he was actually an accidental child he was drake but she loves him to death he is a teen at the moment but we are focusing on logan's children logan and his wife juliet's children so we have kirsten and Kaysen. So they're actually lovely, lovely sims. I adore them very much. I'm also very sad that it's raining outside. But do you have work? Yeah, she has work in a couple hours. And her fun is so low. Can I have you get just some instant fun to just help you with this current situation? Because I don't want you to go to the first day of work, like, all upset. So I'm really, yeah. I, I'm also saying so a lot. I apologize. I do that when I'm excited and explaining things. But Anyways, yes, this is our lovely Kirsten. She is going to change into her everyday wear outfit. Her little story here, so she actually has a beach life aspiration. But before I get into that, Kirsten and Kaysen, they moved out of their mom's or their parents' home because they were young adults now and they wanted to move out. Uh, her mom actually had an accidental baby from an alien abduction. His name is Brooks. I didn't show you him. But, uh, and they're like, you know what? She's busy with a baby. You know, the house is kind of small. It actually is. There was only three bedrooms and there was like, I think four kids. Yeah, four kids living there, including the parents. So that was a little, a little difficult. So she's like, you know what? I'm going to let them have my bedroom. And then Kaysen was sharing a bedroom with his two brothers. So that was a little, a little difficult of a situation. And they're like, you know what? We're just going to move out. And, you know, they just heard about just recently Solani about being this gorgeous beachy place you know so they're like you know what we're gonna look into that and they came here and they absolutely fell in love with it now they're actually kind of they're not city sims but they are sims that you'd probably rather see in the city they didn't grow up in the city they grew up in Oasis springs 
but they were kind of more of like kind of I don't know LA-ish kind of people so it would have either been the ugh, I can't think of it the town that came with Get Famous or Solani or San Maishuno but then Sol- Solani came in the picture now the reason why she it appealed to her so much is because she was a party animal she actually really wanted to party all the time but then again she heard about it and she decided to want to explore the beach but that's kind of why and she wanted new friends too there wasn't very many friends in her neighborhood and she's like I just want to be in a new neighborhood that I can make friends she's also good family oriented and a genius so she's a very very genius thing she's actually in level two of the conservationist career she's a field assistant so that's really exciting um but she has always been because she's a good sim and she's genius she loves exploring ideas to help the environment she is into meditation she is into eating healthy she is she'd be one of those like youtubers that are all about sharing their like health and wellness kind of videos and stuff for their lifestyle that's kind of like who she is and I think it's a perfect place to explore that because she could be a conservationist and she could also like teach in the animals and fish in the water and stuff but anywho that's why it appealed to her so much and then Hazen on the other hand they're very close they're actually best friends they're twins um he is like you know what I just want to be with you like I don't really want to move out on my own I'm not really ready for that he's still he's based oh my goodness what guys I did not know that that could actually be put in the water like that that is so cool that is honestly awesome okay anyways and he's like he's literally a big kid like he's young at all but he's still like a tween (laughs) and he's like okay I'll come with you oh you have work yes we're gonna go to work um yeah we're gonna go to work oh she also has a little shell collection already but we don't really have enough money to explore that. It's literally pouring outside. I know you guys can hear it, but anywho, um, yeah. So he is a serial romantic, and he's not really a bad person because of that. He is just young, and he's attractive, and he likes to play on that. He also is musically talented, so he likes to um, fully explore, you know, all of these different things that makes him attractive to some girls, and he likes that and he wants to use that so he is going to explore a lot of options basically and um he is a scuba instructor so this is because he moved here he could have been a lifeguard but he's like you know what like they kind of had a conversation about it probably at this table (laughs) and they're like you know what you are an adult you cannot have a part-time job as a lifeguard and he's like okay I understand so then he's like agreed to be a scuba instructor because it sounded kind of fun to him and he's just like all about being having fun it's it's not at all about being an adult so that's where that comes in a little bit and that's where he became a scuba instructor he's also level two in that and he still needs to purchase this he has work soon but hopefully um it'll quit raining soon um it is currently winter so that's why it's kind of like a rainy season um they're also kind of chilly oh she's off to work sims emotions yeah she is she's not really having it but we'll see oh no go to work honey oh no she just got struck by lightning guys that's horrible for your first day of work getting struck by lightning Ugh. but yeah so continuing on Kaysen's story he is clumsy child of the islands and vegetarian so he actually used to be a geek he was a geek growing up in high school and he kind of was getting it into a little bit like the internet 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 wi-fi i don't know stuff like his dad it was actually a social media um person his dad was in the social media career and he thought he was going to follow in those footsteps and he loved playing video games again he's just a big kid but he moved to the island this is after they moved here they just moved here but like shortly after they moved here he realized how much he loved the islands and how much fun things there are to explore on it so that is that's basically their little backstory. It's really fun. I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. They do have some friends and stuff. He is currently flirting with this girl named Kinley. Um, apparently, we don't know any of her traits. And then uh, he is friends with his cousin Miracle, which would be his mom's niece. So his mom's sister's daughter. He's also friends with this guy named Advaith. He doesn't really have that many other friends. Most of everybody in here is his um, family. But yeah, he is really cool. He doesn't like this guy named Enzo. 
and that is because he and Kirsten are actually a thing at the moment. They won't be for very long, but they are a thing at the moment. Um, but she's going to break up with him soon. She's not with that relationship. I don't, yeah, she's not feeling it. So it's not a spoiler or anything. She's not going to stay with him for very long. She's just been too busy with moving here to deal with him. <laughs> he actually came to the house the other night and was like, hey, want to talk? And she literally, like, she said hi to him, but then she, like, made it extra known that she was going doing stuff so I feel kind of bad though because when it's rainy like rainy there isn't really anything for Kirsten to do they don't have a tv or anything I don't think I'm gonna have them have a tv either because it's just extremely I don't know it's just not necessary to have a tv out here um I do think they'll end up getting a computer but they don't need a tv do you have this oh we can go snorkel guys why can we go snorkel is it a bad idea to snorkel when it's thunderstorming outside? Definitely. Um, let's hope that nobody dies. Let's hope that. No, we're not going to go to your pool party. We don't want to. Yeah, his fitness actually goes up with this too, which is really nice. But this is the little little place here. Um, yeah, he's snorkeling. So that's really awesome. <gasps> Guys, it's a dolphin. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's not a dolphin. It's just a really, really giant fish. But yeah, let's, again, hope that he does not get uh, struck by lightning. Yeah, he needs to go home. Buddy, let's, let's have you go home. I'm actually, this is a really dumb idea. I'm really scared that he's going to get sick. Or not sick, struck by lightning. I don't know how long it's going to rain. We don't have anything that we can check the weather on, which is a bummer, but we'll see. So anyways, let's just, while this is happening, let's read this. So he is a diver. He's level two. It says, shedding the snorkel and looking for deeper work. Kaysen has advanced to scuba diving and instruction. Taking his students underwater, he explores the sea floor, encountering all the wonders of the sea. Wait, was that diver missing a tank and only wearing one fin? <gasps> Guys, I wonder what that was. Oh my goodness, our mom wants to go out with us. Oh, that's cute. So our mom wants to go have coffee with us at the cafe. So she definitely wants to see how it's going moving in. That's really exciting to me. I'm excited. <laughs> um, then you can meet their mom for those new viewers of you that have not. Also, I wanted to touch on this too. The um, thumbnail has Island Paradise in the title. You know what? I'm going to leave it. Okay? I apologize. I know it's called Island Living. But I worked hard on the thumbnail. So, oh goodness. Guys, we just like moved like countries because well we didn't move worlds technically but it is oh no he's sick oh, guys i can't believe this he's literally sick but we're gonna hopefully not get our mom sick and this is miss juliet guys now she was so gorgeous when she was young she's still beautiful but guys she was like literally like a model model she okay so you see kristen She's basically, she was prettier than Kirsten, as bad as that sounds. I know that sounds crazy, but she actually was. So we're hanging out with family, and we're going to become best friends with their mom. We are actually really, really close with their mom. Um, we love her to death, and she has always been there for us. See, the nice thing about their family is they literally had a perfect little family. Like, just everybody, you know, gets along and everything. But here is this place. We're going to go, oh, 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 oh. We're going to go ahead and order a drink. Hey, can we... Is she in a group with us? Oh, where'd our mom go? Oh, she's still out here. We're going to add her to a group because I think she needs some more coffee. All right, so let's go ahead and buy her coffee. But we definitely haven't seen her at all since they moved. So she's probably like... Okay, I think it's time to get her some coffee. Okay. We're going to get a... Hmm. Barista's recommendation or should we just get something a little... What would he get? He's definitely... I do not see him. Well, maybe he would be a coffee guy. I feel like he'd be a nice, just a normal latte guy. So we're going to go get a latte. So here we are. Um, our mom is ordering something too. We should actually, we could get food, but we're not hungry, so it's all good. So we're just going to wait for our food. But while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and talk to our mom. So we're going to have a deep personal conversation, which is really exciting. This is like new interactions that I've never had before. Here we are. They're so cute. So definitely just seeing how everything's going. We're going to talk about the freezing temperature here because the temperature is 
obviously freezing here. Like, look at this. It says it's freezing. <laughs> and it says there's a chance of snow. Currently, it's not snowing, but it is so gorgeous. And I love this, you guys. So for all my viewers that haven't seen snow before, snow actually sparkles like this. I know that might sound crazy to those of you who haven't seen snow, but it actually sparkles and it is gorgeous. So anyways, um, I don't miss snow right now, though, because it is summertime and I need summer. Oh, especially when you have long winters, you guys. Believe me, I have the longest long winters where I live. So we're gonna also compliment her outfit, tell our mom that she is doing good. Oh, and you know what? We should also tell her that we got a job and our sister got a job too. So we are able to support ourselves. Um, what would that be? Let's do it under that. So that's really neat. Oh, this is our macchiato. Excuse. Oh wait, no, we didn't get it. Try ordering it. Go ahead and this place. Some stuff. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, that's perfect. This is it right here not why are they this, this is this is a glitch i don't like oh and then our cousin our cousin oh no can we oh no our cousin miracle wanted to hang out with us too but we wouldn't have been able to we start work so too soon we actually should be heading home soon now but i wonder if there's anything like i know i have my game closed i apologize but i wanted to see if there was like can we get no we can't ask her mom there is nope there is nothing to collect over here, which is kind of a bummer, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to hug our mom and we're going to leave because we have work soon. I think that that's a good, good excuse, but she's really proud of, of Kaysen. Juliet's really proud of Kaysen because that he's gotten a job and he living on his own is really going to be a step up for him because I don't know if you guys know this either, but Juliet, she's a notable newcomer, but, um, Sorry, I got distracted, but um, she actually was a lot more popular when she was younger because um, if you guys watched the beginning of my Wakefield series, you will know that Juliet was actually the daughter of Harry Styles, and um, he passed away since, but uh, that was the dealio there. It was actually quite funny, but um, and then also it was really awkward because he ended up getting married to her. But, um, Belle Wakefield, so, okay, so that would be Kaysen's aunt, Belle. She was actually almost going to marry Harry. So his wife's, so his mom's, so his grandfather, his aunt almost married, which would have been really awkward. So, I mean, they were not blood related or anything, but it was just interesting. And actually, Juliet is was not blood related with him, I don't think. So yeah, that's that's just a little fun fact for this Let's Play because that's what this Let's Play is about. It's about, it's not really about drama, but it's the Let's Play I have the most drama in out of all my other Let's Plays I have going on right now. But I'm really, really excited for this one. It's just kind of nice to have a refreshing start. Also, I was switching households a lot. I don't know if I will continue to be doing that. We shall see how that goes, but. Oh, Kirsten came home. Oh, cool. So that's kind of nice because then we can explore Kirsten, Kirsten's interaction with her while her brother is out. But she's going to go have some tofu tacos. She made these tacos the other day. She actually did not make very much money. Um, Speaking of which, though, can you go out here and see why we have this treasure tool? So this is a diving buoy. But how come it's a diving buoy but we're supposed to be able to buy something from it and i'm not able to do that right now bummed so maybe we have to do it later or not in the winter i don't know we'll have to we'll see so who's calling you are you still coming um no so he has work um he's gonna work hard no 
I'm having a movie night. Do you want to come? Guys. Okay. We're going to go. And I'm actually going to end this part here on a little cliffhanger. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I hope you all have a joyful day. And always look towards the bright side. Happy summer is out.